Okay, this is an example of adjusting a wheel collision. See the support leg here? This is my support collision for my support leg. They were out of place. Okay, and it was stopping my truck from being able to back up underneath it. So, by finding them, I can move them back to here. And you can see if this is out of line from that. So I line that up to that. And I come over here move this over to about where that was again and bring these support lines back in line and all these seem to be in relative line with each other and then I can move them all at once right to where I want it come over here turn under and line that right directly in the center between my two support lines because these legs are just decorative. This is what actually supports the legs. And if it was and being too far forward, it was not allowing my truck to back up underneath it. My truck was colliding into that and not allowing it to back in. Now this is the edit of this trailer over here. Now the next thing I have to do is like up here, see that collision right here? This is a standard collision that's in this trailer here. This is the edit from this trailer. See, and this trailer is here, and there's the collision right there in the center. Okay. That's the grain plane. Let's see if I can get that collision. Um, wheel collision cowl. Let's see here, where is it at? Um, uh, it's the base. That collision is the base. So what I have to do in order to get rid of that collision, before I can load bales, I have to get rid of this collision. So let's come down here. We'll take this. We'll duplicate it. And that brings it down to this transform group. Okay. that out we'll export that export section to we just put it in a modest folder because that's where I'm working export it we'll call it base base one and you can name it anything you wanted to now we come down here Again, so that's the copy. Delete that copy. Whoa. Ooh, I forgot back up there. Are you seeing what I just did there? You see, that I uh, mistakenly had this gray and that transform red gray, and I lost everything. I like to put back up here, reverse this step, brought everything back, and I was right back there and I was able to do exactly what I wanted to do. Now I can come back into here, import, one thing I bought, there's my base one right there, and we open it, and there it is. And that's all we want. This part we want to just delete. Yes, that part we wanted to leave because somehow it took a, it, it duplicated everything. So now we move this <coughs> all the way to the top. And now that transform group. this. See that over there? Now I start taking this. I go CRT X up here. CRT Leap. And then bam. It's right there in line. And it's going to have 
a different index. See all these polys here? So whatever index root that was before is going to change by adding all these to it. Same with your wheel rotations and whatnot. You'll have to readjust all of those because you're going to have to take each piece of these one at a time and move it up this time for you. Now what you can do since how this is already duplicated okay if you don't need this you don't need any of this Okay, now you have a base with no, no BS. Okay, so you have the wheel cal already here, the root node is already here. Okay. Yeah, I should move this over here. Should have done it before I deleted the other stuff so I could see everything lined up correctly. Bring that cowl over. This is I'm using that cowl line to line up my wheel. That's my wheel collision cowl. So bring that one over here. So basically, each your trailer, even if they have ten wheels, you should only have it only need one cowl for each side. But yeah, you just keep moving this up. You see the transform group is still there. That collision is still there in the, in the main here. You just keep moving each one of these up into the base one at a time. Okay. And you can come over and make sure everything lines up. I don't know if I can it visible if I can see it. You want just a little bit off the ground. You don't want you don't want too far down. You don't want too high. Um, but you definitely want it one one because they have to be dynamic. If it's not one one, you'll get an error in your log. In fact, I've got one wheel that's almost three times the size of the wheel, and one truck that I had to fix because the cow was point four zero, and it was really messed up. And if you're through wheels, again, you just do it the same way. And be, and you just bring it back and lay it back up. And you line it up with this wheel here. And that's what we we'll do. Just, just like that. Back just a little bit, and you can bring it back over there. Now, what I do is I come up underneath here. And I'm going to go up inside and I should look at my axle so I can line it up with the center of my axle. Just like that. And bring it down just a little bit. And hold it. And you can see the rim line right here. That's the center of your wind line. That's where that hub is supposed to lay. That's your brake drum and stuff right there. So, and that's basically what I have to do in order to be able to get this trailer where I can put stuff on it is I have to get rid of this box collision right here, that invisible cowl right there. That's a box collision that's preventing me from loading anything onto the trailer. I can put stuff on the front, but I can't put nothing on the back until I get rid of that collision. And this is what I have to do to get rid of that collision. And if you see here, there's my index for my wheel, which is index 3. Over here in my flatbed, pop up here, and look, index 3 right here. Drive node retard index 3, then 4, then 15, and 16, which is down here, which is now 111. But once I get all this stuff moved up here in the same order that it was before, one at a time, all my indexes will be the same. 
I hope this was helpful for you. I hope it fixes your planner. And good luck to you.